now going to install the storage inverter, part of the SolarEdge storage and backup solution. When choosing the mounting locations for the components, take into account the clearance areas, as mentioned in the product manuals. The battery should be mounted within 5 meters of the inverter. Don't forget to connect the loads you want to back up to a secondary AC panel connected to the main circuit breaker. Let's start by mounting the inverter bracket. Hang the inverter on the bracket and secure it with the supplied bolts. Make sure on-off switches are turned off and that the AC to the inverter is disconnected. Remove the cover in order to access the wiring terminals. Connect the 9 volt battery. Run the inverter's AC cable through the cable gland. Connect the wires according to the terminal block label. Connect the AC from the secondary backed up loads panel to the corresponding AC output connector. After the AC side is completed, connect the string of power optimizers and PV modules from the roof to the inverter. Confirm that the safety voltage of each string matches the number of installed power optimizers. Check string polarity and connect to the inverter's PV input marked with PV in. The last step of the inverter installation is hooking up the internet connection. The easiest way to do this is to run a CAT5 Ethernet cable from the internet router to the inverter. In the next clip, we cover the installation of the SolarEdge Modbus meter.